The TAL Barcode ActiveX Control is a software component that is designed to make it easy for programmers and database developers to add high resolution barcode printing capabilities to their own applications and then distribute their applications to other users without having to pay any additional license fees. The TAL Barcode ActiveX Control can be used with any application that supports ActiveX components, including Microsoft Visual Studio, Internet Explorer HTML documents, and Microsoft Office applications like Word, Excel, and Access. This video is designed to show how to use the TAL Barcode ActiveX Control to print barcode labels for a Microsoft Access 2010 database. To demonstrate, I will first run Microsoft Access and open a database that I created earlier. It contains a table named Products that I filled with some sample data that I wanted to print onto barcode labels. The Products table that I created contains two data fields named Barcode Number and Product Name. The first step to create the labels is to click on the Products table and select the Create tab on the ribbon interface. Then click the Labels option in the Reports group. When I do this, Access will display the Label Wizard where I can select the type of labels that I want to use. In this example, I will select Avery 5163 labels, which are 2 inches tall and 4 inches wide. All of the labels listed in the wizard are standard labels that you can purchase at any office supply store or use in any laser or inkjet printer. When I click the Next button, Access will ask me to specify the font attributes for the text on the labels. I will leave this as the default values and click the Next button. The next step is to select the data fields from the product table that I want to appear as text in the labels. In this example, I will highlight the field named product name and click the arrow button to move the field name into the prototype label. Note that I did not add the barcode number field onto the label. I will add the barcode data later on. After I click the next button, Access will ask me how to sort the data being printed onto the labels. In this example, I will leave the default settings and click the next button. In the final window, I will select the Modify Label Design so I can add barcodes using the Report Designer. I enter a name for the report and click the Finish button. When I do this, Access will open the Report Designer window and display the report that was created by the Label Wizard. To add the barcodes, I will go up to the Controls group in the ribbon. This contains several built-in components like text boxes, buttons, and image boxes that I can place directly onto the report surface. If you click on the More drop-down box, you will see an expanded list of controls. Click on the ActiveX Controls option to see a list of all the ActiveX components that you have installed in your system. I will scroll down the list and highlight the one labeled TAL Bar CD OCX. This is the TAL Barcode ActiveX Control. When I click OK, a sample barcode appears in the report. To configure the control to work the way I want, I will open the Properties window for the control. I can do this by clicking on the Property Sheet button in the Tools group of the Design tab of the Report Design Tools, or right-click on the ActiveX control itself and select Properties. The Properties window contains all of the settings and options for whatever components you have selected in the report. The first property that I am going to set is the Control Source property. This tells the barcode ActiveX control where to get the data that I want to encode in the barcodes. If I click on the drop-down list next to the control source property, I will see a list of all the data fields in the table that the report is based on. In this case, I will select the barcode number field so that the barcodes in the report will automatically obtain the data to encode from this field. Next, I will change the symbology property to BC code 128. This will cause the control to generate code 128 barcodes. I will also change the bar height property to 750 thousandths of an inch so that the barcodes will be 3 quarters of an inch tall. To make the labels look a little nicer, I will center align the text field and close the label design window choosing yes to save the changes that I made to the label design. When I double click on the report to run it, my barcode labels are produced exactly as I want with the barcodes encoding the data from the barcode number field in the products table along with the product name field appearing neatly centered above the barcodes. All that I have to do now is load my printer with the Avery 5163 labels and print the report. As you can see, adding barcodes to Access Database reports is extremely easy with the TAL Barcode ActiveX control. Also, 
Because the control creates the barcodes in a high resolution vector images, your barcodes will print perfectly no matter what printer you use. To download a fully functional demo version of the TAL Barcode ActiveX control, please click on the link shown here. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at 800-722-6004.